The best part of my job is a few hours after surgery for someone. That I see them in the recovery unit or up in the, in the hospital ward and sort of the dust has settled and I ask them, you know, you had a lot of leg pain or a lot of arm pain or something before surgery and how's your arm pain? And they say, it's gone. My patients, I think, would describe me as uh, thoughtful and, and easy to discuss uh, uh, their issues with. A common theme that patients tell me is that they don't exactly understand what's going on. And then, if they don't understand what's going on, it's, it's, it's essentially impossible to figure out why a treatment w would work. And, and so I spend almost the entirety, I would say, of my visit with a patient going through their MRI and using models uh, uh, you know, of, the, of the spine or of the brain to, to show people so they can see and touch what their diagnosis is. And I try to explain in, in the layman's terms because people will read a radiology report, but radiologist reports are, are for doctors who have, who have specialized training in what the, what the words mean. And, 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 and I spend time to explain a diagnosis. And then once a person understands what's wrong, the treatment plan makes sense. I know what I'm doing is good. And, um, and I think if you can trust that you're doing the right thing, that psychological stress is gone. The physical stress of standing and being in long surgeries and things like that, um, you, you, your body gets used to that, it's just, like, just like an athlete, I suppose. But um, the, the psychological stress, which most of us fear, um, um, I have, yes, but, but not in a bad way. The best compliment I ever received was one of my office staff had her father have surgery with me because this is someone who, who, who knows me very well from a professional standpoint and sees my patients and then truly said that for their loved one that's who they would, um, that's who they would pick. A patient may not be um, uh, you know, my staff's father or husband or, or sister or mother. They're somebody's, somebody's father, wife, sister and I, I remember that every time. My hobbies uh, are essentially being, being outside. We love to hike. The Cincinnati Nature Center out on the east side, um, uh, we love to hike out there. And there's a little pond there that has a like, catch and release for tadpoles and such for kids. You can get a little, little net, like a butterfly net, essentially, and try to catch tadpoles and frogs and such. And then um, being outside on the water, on, um, um, on a boat on the Ohio River, we love to do um, like skiing. and. And, um, and swimming. I am most passionate about my wife and kids, for sure, that I um, um, love them very much. I love spending time with them, and pretty much everything I do uh, is for them, um, but in a good way, because that, that, that's, that's what I want. You know, I wake up every day um, thankful, thankful um, for my family and thankful for my job. I like buying coffee for, for my office staff and seeing a smile from them and, and having lunch together and I like um, um, I like spending time at home or taking walks and smiling for the neighbors. It's, it's um, um, I, I think life is wonderful and, and I'm happy to be here.